All right, today I have a Tesla Model Y and I'm gonna show you how to switch this Tesla Model Y to autopilot, okay? So what you're gonna do is, first, my vehicle is in park, it is on. Uh, before I get started, can you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you find this video helpful, I'll appreciate it. All right, so I'm in my Tesla and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see on the monitor screen, I see the screen right here, I'm gonna go down to right here and I'm gonna press that car button right here. And up here, you have a bunch of controls. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go on down until I see autopilot. And I'm gonna switch on autopilot. And right here, it gives you a bunch of options, right? It has, you can turn on the uh, autopilot right here. You can uh, set the speed. I'm gonna go through all of this with you, all right? So uh, here it is right here. Let me get in a little bit closer so you can see this a little bit better. And so right now it says autopilot features. Right now the selection is in traffic aware cruise control. And I'm gonna show you what it says first of all. It says traffic aware cruise uh, traffic aware cruise control. That's what it is when it's not set to auto steer or autopilot, auto steer. It says like traditional cruise control, traffic aware cruise control maintains a set driving speed. However, traffic aware cruise control also slows down or accelerates Model Y as needed to maintain the following distance from the vehicle in front of you. While traffic aware cruise control is engaged, you are still responsible for steering Y model. So that's just your regular cruise control, but you wanna get, get out of this. You wanna go to auto steer. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna tap auto steer. Now you have to have the vehicle in park in order to switch it to auto steer. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to auto steer. And this screen comes up really quick. It says auto steer, this is the beta version. It says auto steer is a feature in beta. Auto steer is a driver system feature and does not make your vehicle an autonomous. Please use it only if you pay attention to the road, keep your hands on the steering wheel and be prepared to take over anytime. You can go ahead and read all of this. It's important that you read all of this before you actually try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that. And I'm just gonna go to that. And it gives you the options down here. It says, do you want to enable auto steer while it is in beta? I am gonna go yes. And so it's in there. And so uh, it has options right here. So when you're doing autopilot, here is the lever right here for autopilot. It's the gear shifter while you're driving. It says right here, it says autopilot activation. And it says double pull or the single pull. You can have options right there. And so you'll go ahead and pull, press that. And it gives you the, the full details about its auto steer better beta can be activated with, by a single or double pull of the gear stick, okay? And so it's just like, I believe it's like that, something like that. Read your owner's menu. Single pull auto steer will activate when gear stock is pulled down, downwards once while driving. So like downwards once while driving, all right, manually. So if the gear stick is pushed up while auto steer beta is active, the feature will cancel. So if you push it up, it'll cancel it once. All right, go back to right here. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll cancel it, okay? And the car will turn to manual driving. Or you can select the double pull. It says traffic aware cruise control will activate when the gear stock is pulled down once while driving manually. Auto steer beta will activate when the gear stock is pulled down twice while driving manually or while traffic aware cruise control is active. If the gear stock is pushed up once, auto steer beta or traffic aware cruise control is active, both features will cancel. So that's what that is, autopilot activation right here. I'm gonna have it set a double pull you can set the speed, you, you can have it go the speed limit or the current speed, all right? So that's the option right here, it says when you engage autopilot, the cruising speed will be set to the following. Speed limit, speed limit of the road adjusted by the offset specified or the current drive speed, whichever is greater. And when it is in current speed, current driving speed is what they're talking about. So right here, speed limit, I'm gonna wanna go to the speed limit. And then offset, it is not a member of the Migos, but actually it is ac actually a, a selection right here. So you have the offset, fixed or percentage, okay? It says when set speed is set speed limit, one of the following offsets can be applied to the detected speed limit. 
When it is fixed, apply a fixed speed offset for all roads. Uh, percentage, apply a percentage offset that varies based on the speed limit of the road. All right, so I'm just gonna keep this at fixed instead of percentage, but you can also, you can change, oh, what did I do? Oh, go back to autopilot. You can change it, one mile an hour, two mile an hour, all this right here, it gives you option. Speed warning limit, it says off display and chime. You can make the selection of that. I'm just gonna keep the display. Speed limit, relative, as opposed to absolute. That doesn't need much explaining. And then you can change the offset right here. All right, you see this? All right, it says forward warning collision down there. Lane departure avoidance, okay. It has option of warning and assist. Emergency lane departure avoidance. You can turn that on if you want. Automatic emergency braking. Disable auto steer beta to modify that. Obstacle aware acceleration. Traffic aware cruise control chime. And green traffic light chime. All of these are options that you have available for the autopilot. And when you're done, it saves. And you just simply go out of this and press that. And bada boom, bada boom. I think that's how you say it. Hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.